Welcome to Burl Heat Gymnasium, where we have the St. John's Lady Redskins taking on the Round Valley Lady Elks. And they're just starting up with the lineups for the Round Valley Elks. We don't have a copy of that. Of their, of their roster while we're up here, Kale. So anyway, but we can go over a few things. Marcel Donaldson is the head coach for the Round Valley Elks, who are in the 2A North region. Region, they're 3-0 and in the region. Number one, number one in the in the North. They're 3-0 three, three in the conference, and they're sitting at number 16 in the conference with a 5-2 and two overall record. Where they've Early on, they, they lost to Sholo, 3-0. They beat out to say 3-0. They lost to Snowflake, 3-0, which is no shame because Snowflake's always a very, very good, good team. They went to the Santan Roadrunner Volleyball Invite where they beat Miami. They beat Gilbert Classical. They lost to Arizona Lutheran, lost to Ben Franklin, and lost to East Park. They beat Holbrook, 3-1. They beat Sanders, Valley Sanders, 3-0. And then they went to the Snowflake Be Like Nat Volleyball Invitational. And Natalie was a former Lobo athlete, but she also worked over here in the St. John's School District and passed away recently. And so a lot of things in Snowflake are being done to help her out and done in her honor and memory. And that one, is, which is a very tough tournament, they lost to Thatcher 2-0, lost, lost to Paige 1-2, beat Chinley, Beat Holbrook, lost to Winderock, beat Holbrook, lost to Winderock. And we're going to go to the national anthem. Beautiful job done by the Lady Redskins volleyball team as well as our crowd. So again, Round Valley sitting five and two. They're ranked 16th in the 2A conferences. And if we let's go over to St. John's. St. John's is two and one in the region. They're sitting at number two behind the Elks. They're two and one in the conference. They're ranked 28th with a two and three record overall. They lost to Joe City two three, beat Pinon three nothing, lost to Ganado. Went to the Snowflake tournament where they lost to Tuba. They beat Mesquite, which is a 4A team. Lost or beat Chinley two nothing. Lost to Winderock two nothing. Lost to the Chinley Wildcats. They beat Valley Sanders three nothing, and they lost to Winslow, who's always tough. One to one to three. So tonight is a big matchup between these two rivals. Now while you're reading that, I I know that Mesquite was in there, and you've had some experience with Mesquite, haven't you? Yes, sir. Last year, Mesquite won the 4A state championship in football, and a crew from our area was on the field. And that 
included you. Yes, it did, Kale. It was a, it was a great time. It was a fun time. So it looks like as we're getting ready to start that St. John's will be serving first. It looks like Carly Wingert, number 14, a junior, will be serving as soon as we get to go ahead. Mr. Chavez, our down official. I'm not sure what the officials are called here. Might have to ask your Aunt Kirsty. Uh, we have an up official who's um, up. She's on the stand, Miss Ellsworth. And then we have Mr. Chavez who's on the floor. Carly Wingert getting ready to serve and kick this game off. She has a great serve across. Great set, spike, and a kill for the Lady Redskins, taking a one nothing lead in this game. And we have our first substitution. And Carly Wanger is a junior. She's played volleyball for five years. She's been on varsity for three, so this is her third year on the varsity. One of my favorite things about volleyball, Kale, is when you get these long plays, like long volleys where they just keep going back and forth. And that's a spike by number 25, Olivia Wiltbank, tying the score one to one when she got above the net, brought that down. But going back to Carly Wenger, she's a returning outside hitter, and her favorite Color is sage green. She loves potatoes and Mexican food. Great spike by number 10 for the Lady Elks, taking the lead two to one. And that's number 10, Mackenzie Merrill. It's her third year playing varsity. She plans to attend BYU Hawaii after high school. Ball comes across. St. John's returns it. Number 10 again, and that one looks like it barely hit the line. Mackenzie Merrill with a great shot. That ball, Kale, looked like it had eyes, and it was just looking for that line. We have number two, the libero serving. And that's Rianne Clough. It's her first year playing varsity at Round Valley. She plans to go on a mission after school, then attend the Air Force Academy. Number seven, Avery Richardson with the serve. Hits the top of the net, goes across. Number one, Sire McCall is able to hit it, but no one's able to return it to tie this game, this match three to three. Richardson with the serve. A little block there by the Redskins. Wiltbank. And that's dug out. Nice little volley here. Wiltbank again with a little bit of a tip. Great little volley going on here, Kale. Will Bank, oh, just into the net. Giving the point to the Lady Elks, four to three. Number five for the Elks is Jessica Soderberry. Her third year playing varsity, she plans to pursue a career in physical therapy. A nice serve. And Will Bank comes and hits it across the net. And a great spike by Wilbank. Goes off the block and hits in, the, in on the Elk sideline. So we have Olivia. Wilbank with the serve. 
I tell you, Kale, number 10. Seems to be a big part. Merrill seems to be a big part of the Redskins. And that looks like number 13. Mary Kate Hunt with the put down there. First year playing varsity. Plans on going to be by Hawaii after serving a one year service mission. We have substitution for number for the Redskins. Ties it up, five to five for the Red. The point goes to the Redskins. Now we have Brooklyn Finch in and serving, and Brooklyn is our birthday girl. She's hitting the big 16. She is a sophomore. And Carly Wenger gets the ball over, and the Lady Redskins take the lead. Speaking back on Brooklyn Finch, today's her birthday, 16. She's played four years of volleyball and two years on varsity, so she's in her second year on varsity. Her favorite color is blue, which is surprising being a Redskin. I thought you were supposed to be a red. Everything's supposed to be your favorite color is red, Kale. And her favorite order at El Cupido's. I'm not sure what that is, but it's the Gupo Burrito. The service goes back to the Elks, number 11. It's coming in. Number 13, Mary Kate Hunt with the serve to Finch. Wenger hits it, looks like it hits off the net, but official says it hits the hands. Over into the Redskins side. Spike just long. By number eight. Lauren Bates, second year playing varsity, plans to attend Auburn University after high school. That ties the match at sevens. will hit to Carly Wenger, Wenger spikes it, but it's blocked. Back in the Redskins, kick it over, Carly throw, hits it over. Near the line, saved by the Redskins. Hit long, but saved by the Elks. Great little volley here. And Wenger hits it off the block for a point. Bacher with the serve. Elks thought it was long, but it was just inside the line, giving the Redskins a 9-7 lead. Crowd starting to get into it a little bit. Wenger hits it to the corner. Point to the Redskins. And the crowd is starting to become a factor here. Now, normally in football, you would call the crowd the 12th man. Well, here the 12th man is sure getting into the game. You're right, Kale. The Redskin home crowd is starting to get a little excited as they have a three-point lead in this first set of the match as the uh, Lady Elks call timeout, trying to slow the momentum down a little bit. 
one volleyball looks more like the seventh man since there's six volleyball players on the court. I agree with you. And the Legacy Team Productions, which is bringing this live stream of the Redskin Lady Elks volleyball match, is a part of our Legacy Team Centers and the Loft here in St. John's. The Loft and the Team Centers, as that block by the Redskins hit just inside the line. The Legacy Team Centers is something that uh, Judge Michael Latham brought up, thought up to have proactive engagement to try to keep our young adults busy, active, and out of trouble. And part of that is as a nice shot by the Lady Elks, one hit by the Redskins, and then they let it drop to make it 11-8 in this first set. And a running serve by number one, Shyla McCall where she wants to go to Dixie State to, pers to pursue volleyball. It's the third year of playing varsity volleyball. And she's got a powerful jump serve. You don't see a lot of that at the high school at this level, and it's kind of fun to see someone do a jump serve. And Wengert with the tip. And Wenger into the block. Were they able to block it, but is it, it lands on their side of the court for a point for the Redskins. 12-9. And we have Wenger back serving. And Wenger with a little jump serve. But it looks like she got just a bit too much on that. Three serving for the for the Elks. Nice little volley. And ten hits it off the net. It rolls down the top of the net and hits in the Lady Redskins court, tying this set up 12 to 12. And this Whiting takes a timeout, trying to keep momentum on their side. We're back from that. Well, the Redskins, the Redskins are still in the timeout. The Lady Elks are ready to, to go. They're feeling a little bit of confidence right now. Momentum's on their side as they're on a three-point run, I believe. <laughs> Serve goes to Lizzie Farmer who handles it. Volley's back over the Redskins sideline. Ten hits it. There's a spike into the block, but it's saved by Olivia Wiltbank. And it looks like Wiltbank hit the net. Oh, nope, number five for the Lady Elks hit the net, giving the point to the Lady Redskins. And Lizzie Farmer with the serve. Redskins are able, to, or Elks are able to push that over the net and get the point.
Van Clough with the serve in the libero jersey to Wangert. Tipped over. And it's spiked by number five. Jessica Soderberg off the block for the point, and the Lady Elks take the lead 14 13. Soderberg serves out into the net, tying the match back up for the Lady Redskins. We have number seven, Avery Richardson with the serve. Nice play by Olivia Wiltbank. Number 13, Mary Kate Hunt with the spike. And we have Soderberg who has been playing well tonight. Now this has been a kind of a back and forth game for these two teams. And it's highly entertaining, Kale, as Ryan Baca hits the ball into the net, giving the Lady Redskins a two point lead. Soderberg, Wilt Bank, tips it over. Oh, and number 10, Mackenzie Merrill spikes that one into the net, bringing the score 15 to 16. Lady Redskins are 15, Lady Elks 16. It's Will Bank with the serve. Off the barrel's hand, great job by Merrill, chasing it down to Will Bank. Baca sets it. And Carly Wenger hits that off the block. It goes out of bounds, giving the point to the Lady Redskins, tying this match up. Will Bank serve. Merrill hits it, spikes it. Lizzie Farmer diving, diving attempt. Ball goes off her hands. And the Lady Elks take the lead, regain the lead 17 16. And you're right, Kelly, it's been a back and forth affair. Two, three points has been the biggest lead e either team can get. And Bach is able to tip that over. The diving Merrill just misses it, ties the game back up. And we have the birthday girl, Brooklyn Finch serving. There's number 10, Audrey Patterson in. Baca with the, over the net, Wangert. Nice spike by Winger, but dug out by the Red the Lady Elks. Back to the birthday girl. Baca to Winger. Winger tips it. Diving save by number five, Soderberg. Great hustle. And a misplayed ball by Brooklyn Finch gives the point to the Lady Elks. Kale, I love these good volleys. It shows that the teams are well balanced. They're in good position and they're able to to work, work for the points. They're a lot of fun. Hunt with the serve into the net. Now the barrel's back in for the Lady Elks. Miss Clough. Well, Miss Baca, sophomore. Merrill. And Wenger with the spike off the block and up and able to be handled by the Elks. And a hit by number seven, Avery Richardson. that gets the point, 19-18. Lady Redskins take the lead on this very important first game of, this, of the match. Now 
Nice little volley going. Wenger. Oh, that ball looks like it just missed the back line tying this up. Number one, Shiloh McCall with the jump serve to the libero farmer, to Baca. And Wengert bangs that one in, and it looks like it hits the line. 2019, Kale, what do you think of that hit? I thought it was nice. I they able to hit it perfectly to get a piece of that line and call it in. Wengert with the jump serve. Libby will think, I need the Lady Redskins to start to play with some confidence here as they take a two point game, two point lead here. Lady Elks take a quick timeout, trying to slow this momentum down. We're back after that quick timeout. Carly Wangert back with the serve. Just a little bit long. 21 20. Great timeout by the Lady Oaks. Now you can hear the Round Valley fans getting into it. Serves it. And Olivia Wilpink slams that one home. 22 20. That serve was by Riley Hinton. It's her first year playing varsity, and she plans to go to the U of A after she graduates high school. Lizzie Farmer with the serve to Merrill. And there was a violation somehow, some way by the Lady Redskins. I know uh, a lot of signals, but I don't know the volleyball signals. And it might have been that they were blocking the view at the net. 22-21. Will Bank hits it across court and is able to get it in about where the three-point line and the volleyball line crosses each other. 23-21, Lady Redskins with the lead. Avery Richardson up. She's played volleyball for three years. And point to the Lady Elks, great placement on that ball. Serve to Wengert. They'll push it over across. Great hit by number 13. Mary Kate Hunt bringing this a 23 23 game. And Lady Redskins take a quick timeout. Here we have Caden Castleberry running our main camera here for us and Victor. Chavez running the switcher. And this was just a quick put together broadcast because we felt that it was important that both these communities see both these teams playing a great rivalry match. And this, so far, the first game hasn't disappointed. 23 23. 
with number five, Jessica Soderberg serving for the Lady Elks. So Kale, at this point, whoever can score two consecutive points is gonna win this match, or win this game of this first match. So now there's a little bit more pressure on each serve and each, each hit is, again, first team to two. Score two consecutive. And that's point goes to the Lady Redskins, 24-23 lead. Yeah. Miss Wiltbank, Olivia Wiltbank back for the for the serve. Now what can happen here is like if the ball slips out around my player's hands or touches the ground. Redskins are one no for this match, game, whatever they call it. That was a double hit. When it came off her hand, I thought it looked a little bit funny. So, double hit. Point goes to the Lady Elks, 24-24. With Merrill back to serve. And Merrill's played a great first game thus far. Serve to Wiltbank. Over to Baca, sets it for Wenger, hits it across. Great play by both teams there. Great move by Wanger. She used her hand to protect the floor. Spike goes right into oh, her. Oh. Great play by the Lady Elks. That was some tremendous volleyball. And they take a 25-24 lead. Game point for the Elks. To Farmer, to Baca, over to Wenger. Wenger tips it back over. Over to number eight. Soderberg to Hunt, blocked. Great scramble by the Elks. Able to hit the ball back to Farmer who gets it over. And Wenger went down the line. He was able to tie it up. Lauren Bates is number eight for the Elks, and she's played tough the last couple of points. Mm -hmm. Birthday girl serves it across. Great move by the setter. Mm -hmm. Action at the net. Bates hits it, and oh. Finch is not able to keep that one in. Goes out, 26-25. This is the second game match. Game match, game point for the Lady Elks. Hunt, back to serve. To Wiltbank, to Baca, to Winger. Tips it over to the middle of the court. And number eight. It looks like St. John's was in the net. Giving the point to the Lady Elks who win the first Game of this set match, 27 to 25. Looks like there's a three minute break between the, the games and we'll be back in a minute.
And we're back. Game two is about to begin as Mr. Chavez is checking the numbers, getting the rotation down as the libero subs in real quick for number 11. We have number one for the Lady Elk serving. Tyler McCall waiting for the official signal. There it is. Game two is about to begin. Jump serve. It's Olivia Wiltbank who's able to hit Spaka. Gives it to Wingert who hits the net on the spike, giving the first point of the second game to the Lady Elks. McCall jump serve. Hits the top of the net. Bounces over and hits the court. Another point for the Lady Elks. Those are tough, Kale. You see it coming, you think they're going to be this far back, and then they hit the net and die on you. And that ball just hit just past the end line. Wengert serves, down 1-2. Merrill, Merrill hits the ball, but it goes out of bounds, 2-2. Two two. Jump serve by Wangert to Merrill. Set to Hunt, Hunt with the spike. Wilbank comes back with the spike in the back line. And maybe we'll bank with a spike, but just a bit long. Three to two, Lady Elks. Now I just noticed that there are not one, not two, but three volleyballs stuck over or a life fixture over there. Yes. If, you, if you're up here in the rafters of the Burl Heap Gymnasium, you get to see a lot of things. And there are three <laughs> volleyballs across the gym stuck on a light yeah as McCall hits that one out of bounds time this is three to three for the Lady Redskins Lizzie Farmer back to serve Merrill gets it Hunt Hunt spikes it hits Wangert goes off the back wall buzz over there. Something going on at the scorer's table. It looks like they're talking to the libero tracker. So 4-3 Elks. Hunt with a serve to Wengert, to Baca. That's off Wilt Bank. Merrill spikes it off of the St. John's block. Goes out of bounds. Five to three for the Elks. And Will Bank spikes it. Hits the net. It goes over. Merrill spikes it off of Farmer and hits the back wall. And it looks like the Elks are on a little bit of a run here. Six to three. Their crowd's starting to feel a little bit confidence. They're getting a little bit louder. Farmer to Baca. The Wilt Bank spikes it into the net. Seven to three. Bank Baca sets it across the net. Nice. Set to Merrill. Just a little bit out of reach. She wasn't able to get to it. Stemming the flow a little bit here. It's four to seven. Lady Redskins get that point. Avery Richardson with the serve.
Josie Overson, number 23, tips that ball down, bringing it five to seven. Richardson serves. Merrill hits that off the block, out of bounds. 8-5 goes the Lady Elks. Here we have number one. Dylan Goodluck enters the game for the Redskins. And that ball hits off the top of the net. Holds up just a little bit too much, and Wangert cannot get there. 9-5 to the Lady Elks. Serves to Farmer. Farmer hits it over. Gets it. Number 11 pitch for the Elks. Hit it over. And that's it. Jalen Wright, first year playing varsity. Plans to graduate cosmetology school through Navit and wants to go on a mission. 10-5. For the Lady Elks, Soderberg back to serve, and she's been serving for a few points, Kale. Yeah. Serve to Wilt Bank, Wilt Bank to Bach, Bach back to Wilt Bank, just a little bit out of Wilt Bank's reach, 11-5, Lady Elks. The crowd's trying to Get the team back into it a little bit here. Wenger hits it to Baca, Baca to Wilt Bank. Wilt Bank with the spike and gets the point. Six to 11. Football team for the Redskins gets here and they're trying to pump up the suit section. The response by the Elks. The student section here is packed. Bach to Wenger, Wenger hits it off. Great hustle by Richardson. Can't get it back across. Point goes to the Elks, 12-6. That's one of the fun things about this little rivalry, Kale, is it's 30 miles away, so you can get a good student section from Round Valley, a good student section from St. John's, and it can get loud and fun. Yeah. That's what makes rivalries great, is the fun that you can have. I'm pretty sure it gets louder than Lumen Field here. Oh, I bet you're close. Merrill hits that one into the net. I bet it gets like to the same noise level as Lumen Field, Arrowhead Stadium. Audrey Patterson enters for the Redskins. Number eight for the Elks. Slams that one down. 13-7, the Elks is Bates. Sends that one home. Hunt comes back in. Wagner sets that ball across. Wenger hits it hard into the, to the block, is able to save it, and now Will Bank hits it across. Looks like we're going to have another little bit of a long volley here. Wenger hits it across. Will Bank taps it. Into the block and him down the ground. 14 7. 14 to 7, Lady Elks. Got the Libero and Josie Overson coming back in. Lizzie Farmer's uh, Libero, Josie Overson. Lizzie Farmer's played bat volleyball for four years. First year, she's a Libero. Used to play on the right side. And that ball's out of bounds again. 15 7, the Lady Elks. And she's moved across the country five times. And this Whiting, Coach Whiting for the 
Eddie Redskins has seen enough. Calls timeout. Trying to get her team to calm down and get back into this match. Okay, let's talk a little bit about some of these players. We talked about Avery Richardson. She's played volleyball for three years. She used to play soccer. She used to play on the right side as well as the center. Her favorite color is green. She's a tough one, though. She loves to mud wrestle, so you don't want to have any there. And she's listened to her favorite song, Heaven by Kane Brown. Carly Winger, we've talked about. She's had a, had a great two games so far, a game and a half. Naylin, good luck. She's played volleyball for three years, and her favorite colors. She's a junior. Favorite color is blue. Talked about Lizzie Farmer. And Clough serves it across. Ball set for Wangert. Wangert into the block. But it looks like the Elks were into the net. Number three. Or 30 or 13 or 8. I don't know. Volleyball hand signals are confusing to me. Yeah. 8-15. As we have Baca serving. Trying to get this Redskin team back into this. Hits it to Hunt. Hunt. And number 12, Riley Haas hits that into the net. It's her first year playing varsity. She's in the cosmetology program through Navit. And after she graduates, she wants to go to the Valley to further her knowledge in cosmetology. It's too bad, though. Her dad's losing hair, and he, she can't work on his head. Anyway, Lady Redskins make a mental error on that one. Ball hits the ground. It's 16 to 9, the Elks. Jump serve by the ball hits the ground for the Redskins 17-9. Lady Elks, Josie over her. Uh, Audrey Patterson comes in, replacing Eris Pimental. Serve to Wiltbank, to Wangert, and Spike up into the lights and the rafters. Saved by Wangert. You can see some dust falling out of that light. That one hit up high and hard, huh, Kale? A lot of dust flying. Good hustle by the Lady Redskins, but great play by the Lady Elks. I thought and point goes to them, 18-9. to nine. I thought we'd go stay up there like those other three volleyballs. It, it had a chance, <laughs> didn't it? It could have got stuck on a light. And the jump serve to, to Wilt Bank, who... Digs the ball and it goes into the net. 19 to nine, Lady Elks. Jump serve. Bach with the set to Wangert. Slams it down, making it 10 to 19. Wangert back to serve. And Wangert kill. She, she's played a great two games thus far. She hits that a little too hard. 20 to 10. Number three enters the game. St. John's Just needs Riley. to step it up here. Will Bank hits it. Over and across, and Merrill with the tomahawk. And good dig by Lizzie Farmer. Will Bank with the hit. Off the hands of number three, Hinton. 11-20. Lizzie Farmer back to serve for the Lady Redskins. With the serve to Merrill. Merrill. Baca, Will Bank, and hits that one into the net. 22. <laughs> 21 to 11. 
Hunt serves. <coughs> Sorry about that. Thought I had mute. 21 to 12 to the Lady Redskins. Richardson back to serve for them. And that ball is hit into the net for the Lady Elks, giving the Redskins the point. But by Clough Richardson to serve 13 21. And that ball's hit out of bounds. Fourteen twenty one, Richard Sadak to serve. And that ball by Merrill just a bit too long. Twenty one fifteen. Brown Valley Elk said they've seen enough. Let's take a minute, let's talk about this, and let's get get the momentum back on our side. Again, this. This production brought to you by Legacy Team Production, part of the Loft Legacy Team Center. Victor Chavez sitting there bringing it to us. Caden Castleberry on the camera. Kale Hancock, part of Legacy Team Productions, part of, part of this broadcast. And it's brought to you by Judge Michael Latham, who had a vision. Bring together some team centers. And let's help our kids learn some great skills and help them along and team up with the high schools to do some fun things. Kale's giving us a little bit of the ambiance here as the crowd's getting into it. The Redskin student section is starting to feel, feel good about this game as they fall back from down 11. Now they're down six, clawing their way back into this match. Avery Richardson for the serve. Ball over to Merrill, who spikes it, and in, 22 to 15. Great timeout by the coach for the Elks. Now we have Hawes back in. Dale the Hawes, they've been around a long time. Great family from around Valley. And that ball set just a little too close. Olivia Wilbank thought it was probably going to hit the net and was going to try to save it off the net. 23-15 to Lady Elks. Soderberg back to serve. To Wiltbank. To Baca. Come back to Wiltbank. Spikes it. They're off the block. Josie. Overson hits it, but no one was there to help her out. 15 to 24. First game point. And this would give the Lady Elks a 2-0 commanding lead. Coach Whiting says, let's talk about this for a minute. If you use the timeout, took us on our momentum away. We're going to try to get it back. Well, here with the amount of fans these two teams have, it's just about as much home field advantage as you get in a London NFL game. Both, there's, it's packed with St. John's and Elks fans just Wonderful to look at, all these fans supporting their hometown. I agree with you, Kale. It's a lot of fun to be part of these rivalries. And you, I grew up in Holbrook. Played at Joe City my last three years. And, you know, our rivalry kind of changed. It's changed over the course of the years. When I was there, it's probably Snowflake. Now it's Winslow. Uh, when I was in Joe City, we really didn't have a rivalry. We didn't have anyone really, really close to us at all. Um, Muggy Young wasn't a school back then. So I played way back in the Stone Ages. We traveled three, four hours to our nearest team. Well, this St. This St. John's Round Valley rivalry is one of the biggest rivalries in Arizona. It is. It's one of the biggest, oldest rivalries in the state of Arizona. And that is the second game as Round Valley scores the point. They win the second one 25 to 15. We'll have a two, three minute break and then we'll be back for game three. And Kale, the best of five. If St. John's wants to continue tonight, they're going to have to take game three. This is a big game. We'll be back in a moment.
We're back. Back at the action. Game three. A must win for the Lady Redskins. With Carly Wangert back to serve. Betty Elks up two games to none. Wanger with the serve to Merrill. Merrill gets it to McCall. And number eight, Bates hits it a little bit long, giving the Redskins a one nothing lead. Kale, it's important, I believe, for the Lady Redskins to get off to a good start here. Try to get as much momentum as they can go and not get down. Baca sets it for Wilt Bank. Wilt Bank taps it over with the left hand. 2 nothing lead for the Lady Redskins. Bring it again. Hit into the block. Farmer to Wilt Bank. Wilt Bank hits a little bit low. Two to one. Lady Elks get the ball, get the serve. Hitting, hitting back to, to serve, hits it to Farmer, to Baca, Baca to Wilbank. Wilbank hits it off the top of the net to Merrill. Merrill gets it back. Hits it to Farmer who just misses that one. Tying the match two game, two points apiece. And serves to Farmer. Farmer sets Baca to Wilbank. Back to Farmer to Baca. Wilbank with the hit. Hinton. It looks like that may have hit, may have hit one of the Clusses up on top. As Clough, it looked like it changed direction on Clough, given the point. Three to two to the Redskins. Farmer back to serve. Farmer to Clough. Merrill into the block. It comes off the net, stays on the St. John sideline, tying it at three. Hunt back to serve for the Lady Elks. It's to Wangert. Wangert knocks across. Soderberg hits that one into the net. So let's see, make sure we've talked about all the Brown Valley girls tonight, Kale. McCall wants to pursue volleyball at Dixie State. Merrill wants to go BYU Hawaii. Will Bank with the spike. Soderberg, physical therapist. Great shot by Merrill for the Lady Elks. Four to four. Taylor Gordon, number four. Not sure if we've seen her in or. Nope, she's right there. First year playing varsity at Round Valley. Plans to attend ASU after high school. Soderberg with the serve. Will Bank. Spike. Clough with the diving. Attempt and doesn't get it. Five to four. And Clough, first year playing varsity. She's a tough little player. First year for varsity. At Round Valley plans to go on a mission after school and attend the Air Force. We have talked about her. Merrill with the spike. Off the block. Five to five. Jalen Wright, first year playing varsity. Plans to graduate cosmetology school through Navit and go on her mission. Mary Kate Hunt, BYU Hawaii after one year service mission, we talked about her. Miss Hinton, first year playing varsity, plans to attend U of A. Merrill with the serve to Farmer, Farmer to Baca, Baca to Wangert. Wangert pushes it over, Merrill knocks it back.
Josie Overson, Kabaka, Wenger just misses that, 6-5. Lauren Bates, number eight, second year playing varsity, plans to attend Auburn University. We've talked about her and Miss Riley Hawes. On the Farmer, Kabaka, Wenger, that was just a little bit off. 7-5 for the Elks. Riley Haas, first year playing varsity. She's currently in cosmetology through Navit. I won't make any more cracks about her dad. He's much bigger than I am, but he's a great guy. So, no more cracks about Mr. Robert Haas. I do love him. I think he's great. Let's talk a little bit about some of these St. John's players, Kale. Let's give him a little bit of love. What do you think? Josie Overson. What year is Josie? She's a sophomore. She's played volleyball for four years, so two years. She started her freshman year, played as middle for four years. Favorite color is green. She can fall asleep in two minutes. Let's talk about that, Kale. How nice would it be to say, you know what, I'm out, I'm going to bed. Good night, see you later, sayonara. Two minutes later, you're snoring. Favorite song is Heat Waves. Birthday girl, Brooklyn Finch. As Merrill serves it, the Farmer. Wangert with a great hit. Dug out by Merrill. Pushed across. Haas with the set. Woolbank with the dig. Wangert with the hit. Oh, Merrill with the set. Wanger with the hustle. Haas with the hit to Farmer, Farmer to Baca, to Wangert. Almost got that one in there. Great hit by number eight. Wanger brings the wood just outside though. Brooklyn Finch played for four years, two years on varsity. Favorite color is blue. She likes the El Cupido's burrito, and it's her birthday. 16 years old. And spiked by Josie. Gets it just inside the corner, 6-8 to eight for Lady Redskins. Audrey Patterson comes in for the barrel. And Finch in to serve. Birthday girl hits it. Quick set by Round Valley. For Wangert. Wangert with a spike. That one gets in. 8-7. A little bit of momentum coming on the St. John's sideline. They're feeling it. Their crowd starting to cheer. Ellie Heap. She hasn't seen any playing time. Ellie's a sophomore. Plays on the JV. Comes from a great family. And Wangert and Spike into the block. Saved. And that ball hit the Raptors again. It's interesting being up this high, Kale, and seeing the ball change direction. Oh, it's brought the wood. And that's that one down. I, and as I mentioned earlier, okay, I was wrong earlier that there's three up there. There is six. Well, volleyballs up there. Kale has counted all the volleyballs. There's six and a water bottle right in front of us. And there's a shoe hanging on the fire alarm cage. It's funny what you see when you're up this high. It is funny. Wenger just misses that. 10-7 to the Lady Elks. So Ellie Heaps played volleyball for four years. She's set for two years. It's her first year on varsity. She loves the movie Three Amigos. Kale, Three Amigos is a my era movie. It's a little bit old. The favorite color is blue. And I don't know if this is going to start anything because her brother was the voice of Redskin Wrestling last year. But Ellie says that she's the favorite child. <gasps> and nice through my Baca, bringing it 8 to 11.
Off the block for the point. Haas gets a hand on it, but it able to stay on the, uh, or Hunt gets a hand on it, keeps it in on the Round Valley sideline. Eris Pimtel played volleyball for two years. Number 32, a freshman. Merrill hits that one into the net, making it 10 to 11. Eris Pimtel played volleyball for two years. Played middle both years. Favorite movie is Princess and the Frog. Set to Wanger. Wanger goes across court, goes through the hands of Merrill, tying it up at 11 apiece. Hail Princess and the Frog. Isn't that the voodoo one down in New Orleans? Yep. Great little movie. And we movie. even went there this summer. We did. Favorite color is yellow, and her favorite class is biology. When your favorite class is a science class, you know you're smart. Brown Valley fans trying to cheer their team on, pick it up a little bit. We're getting a great little volley going across. Wanger with the hit. To Hunt, Hunt tips it over the, the net. Baca kicks it back over to the Elks. And a big hit by number one, McCall. 12 to 11, the Elks, that was a big hit. Number 24, Grace Ellsworth for the Redskins. She's played volleyball for three years. She's a freshman. She's been on outside all three years. Favorite color, yellow. Her favorite class is English. Here we go, the Redskin crowd getting into it, trying to breathe some life into their players, battling this third match, 11 to 12, to Farmer, to Baca, to Wingert. And Merrill with the spike. Farmer's able to dig it out. Back to Baca, gets it to Wingert. Wingert drills it, but it's blocked. Dug out, Farmer with a diving attempt, and the ball goes off of her. And we have something going on at the scorer's table. We have another Lady Redskin, number 22, Kaylee Pulsifer, a freshman. She's played volleyball for three years. She's set in seventh grade. She's a middle blocker in eighth grade. Her favorite class is seminary. Favorite color is mint green. Favorite teacher is Mrs. Crosby. That's getting specific, Kale. When your color is mint green. We have number five, Zoe Madur, a sophomore. We have a huddle. At the table, Mr. Chavez coming talk to the upper official, Miss Ellsworth. Zoe Madur played volleyball for four years. She's a sophomore. She used to set. Favorite class is algebra two. Math classes, that's another smart one. Favorite color is purple. Favorite movie is Luca. Olivia Wilbank played for five years. She's been on varsity for three. And Olivia is a junior. She's a returning outside hitter, and she brings it when she hits it. Favorite color is blue. Her song is Beautiful Crazy. Ryan Baca, volleyball for four years. She's a sophomore. Been a setter for three years. Plays right side as well as setter. She likes sage green, Kale. Not mint green, sage green. Again, we're getting a little specific here. Her thumb is double jointed. Who knew, right? There's a fun fact for you. Favorite song is Neon Moon with Casey Musgraves.
And they're still discussing that play. I'm really not sure what's going on. Avery Richardson, sophomore number seven. Played volleyball for three years. Used to play soccer, played right side as well as setter. Her favorite color is green, not mint green, not sage green, just green. She loves to mud wrestle, so don't mess with her. Favorite song is Heaven by Kane Brown. Carly Wangert played volleyball for five years as, as a junior. Been on varsity for three. She's returning outside hitter. Her and Wilt Bank are tough. Her favorite color is sage green, another sage. She loves potatoes and Mexican food. Can't go wrong with those two combinations, right, Cal? Mm -hmm. Now the good luck, she played for three years. Her favorite color is blue. Lizzie Farmers played for four years. First year was libero, used to play right side. Favorite color is blue, and she's moved across the country for five, five times. A little bit of information about all the players that we have out there as Mr. Chavez is discussing what's going on with the two coaches. See if the score changes. Looks like we're getting ready to get back into the action here. Coaches are telling their kids what's going on. The great score clock operator, Mrs. Hancock is down there leaning in, trying to figure out what's going on as well. She should be texting me, telling me what's happening, but she's not doing that, Kale. She's focused on her job. Does her grab, oh, she grabbed her phone, maybe she's telling me. <laughs> nope, she's not. We're gonna have to talk about that tonight. Oh. Can't say what happened. Might be a do-over, maybe. Twelve eleven right now. Redskins or Elks looks like they're getting ready to serve. Thumbs up for Mr. Chavez to Miss Ellsworth. Jump serve by the Lady Elks. Spike by Hunt, 13 to 11. Now for this um, game, um, the Redskins really need to step it up because if Round Valley wins this game, it's bedtime, yep. so to speak. It's a do or die game right here. The call with the jump serve. And number eight hits that one into the net, giving the point 12-13. Bates hits it in the net, 12 to 13. Redskins are down one as the football team is rowing their boat. Well, it's always fun to see like gets fans' the reactions in games like this. You know, Kale, this you're right. This should be a lot of fun for both sides. You know, you're in high school. It's a rivalry game. Have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy it. Have good sportsmanship, but have fun with it. Enjoy mm -hmm. your days here. Wangert. Great hustle. Hunt's able to get the ball across to Baca, to Olivia, Wilt Bank. Ball comes back across. We're tied at 13. Richardson. Oh, Richardson, that was close. That was super close, but it looked like it just missed the line. 14 13, Lady Elks. Got the student section for St. John's standing, willing their girls to get this victory. Will Bank with the hit, and she knocks it across, gets the point, 14 to 14. Lizzie Farmer back to serve. Red's getting eating this. To Merrill, Merrill spikes it off the of Wilt Bank and into the crowd, 15-14, Lady Elks. I tell you, Kale, it seems like when the Elks need a point, they know who to go to. They feed that ball to Merrill. And she's just able to bring it. 
Oh, Josie Overton. Little aggressive, got into the net on that one, making it 16-14 to the Lady Elks. The Elks crowd starting to cheer. They're starting to get a little confident. Quiets down a little bit. Will Bank comes up and hits it off the net. Diving. Hit by the Elks, but it just goes across the net and out of bounds. 15 to 16. Lady Elks are still up, but the Redskins are serving. Richardson with the serve. Merrill with the hit off the block. Okay, she hits that ball hard, Kale. 17-15. We have Haas coming back in for McCall. And serve to Wenger. Bach to Wiltbank. Wiltbank with the hit. Oh, and that looks like it just raised number four for the Elks. That ball was hit hard. It went down the hallway. And Gorder just off of Gorder's arms. Great hustle play by Gorder. You know, you got to try to get that. Brings the score 16-17. Redskins within one. Wiltbank. Short serve. Ties it up. Spike, great save. Winger, big hit off the block. Almost scored a basket. Wrong Camaro. sport. Oh, sorry. There's a net involved, Kale. There's a net involved. Winger tips it over. Great hustle play by number five. Soderberg, 18-17. Lady Elks. Merrill in the back with the serve. Wangert, it's ball over, cross. Merrill hits that one into the net, tying it up, 18-18. We have a timeout. The Elks wanting to talk this one over. Not let this game, this is an important game for the Lady Elks. They don't want to let this one get away from them. Tied at 18 18, seven. We've got a seven point game, really. First one to score seven can win this thing. Now we have Redskin. Maybe he was trying to do push ups. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the little Lindsey kid was trying to do up there. Yeah, this is the Legacy Teen Productions. With Victor Chavez running the show up here, making sure that we can go on. Caden Castleberry, the man, the myth, the legend, the best cameraman we have, best cameraman in the state. Probably the premier cameraman for sports media in the northern part of the state. And I'm, I'm, I mean that, Caden, you're one of my favorites. You're great. You do a great job on the camera. We appreciate you. So thank you, Caden. You see Caden? Tell him thank you. He takes time out to make sure that these games can be seen. We've got Cale Hancock, Mr. I Can Do It All 8th Grader. I'm not sure he says, and it's not self-proclaimed. It's not a self-proclaimed title, but Cale Hancock says that he is the executive producer hey, what's of it the Legacy Team Productions. Kale, how did you come by that name? Well, um, we're just doing um, a game. Um, I think it was a basketball game. I don't know, but Mr. Judge Michael Latham nicknamed me the executive producer. I believe what happened, that came down during softball. We were down there doing a uh, Round Valley softball game at oh. State. And I was busy doing it a game somewhere else, and you were running around, taking care of everything, making sure that that one went off well as 
really doing that. Another point to the Lady Elks, 20 to 18. And Mr. Judge, Michael Latham, who this is his brainchild, this is his idea. He's the one who started all this and has given us this ability to do this. Called you the executive producer or director of Legacy Team Productions. Not a self-proclaimed title, Kale. 21-18, nope. Lady Elks. Coach Whiting takes the time out. Letting her girls know it's do or die at this point. Down 21-18. We've got to get seven. We need seven points here. Can't let them get four. No, I believe you left out one very important person when you talk about like team productions. I Mr. think well, you know, you're Mr. right. Mr. Paul you're Hancock. Right. We got Mr. Michael Whiting, who's the voice, the voice of Redskins, who does football for us, does basketball for us. He really got this thing rolling, and we appreciate him and what he's done for us. He's a great man. We appreciate him. There's also Mr. Paul Hancock. I, I don't know who that is, Kale. <laughs> the so. very humble Paul Hancock. Oh, I just get to spend time with my son doing something that he loves, and I get to live my boyhood, childhood dream of being a sports announcer. Mm -hmm. So is that time up? Time out wraps up. Time up. Time out wraps up. The Elks back to serve up 21 18. Lizzie Farmer takes it. Gets it to Baca. Over to Wengert. Hits it into the block. And it stays in bounds. 22 18. The Elks are starting to feel it a little bit, I think. You know, their crowd's still pretty quiet. Serve across to Wilbank. The box, box tips it across to Merrill. Hunt. Wilbank. Oh, that's a double hit on Hunt. She tried to push it over. It went about halfway over, but she brought it back and then she hit it again. That's a double hit, Kale. I can call that one. It's the first one I got right all night. Now, from here on out, well, probably a while ago, but here on out, it's do or die for the Redskins. Down 22-20. They got a little bit of a two-point run right now. Baca back to serve. See if they can keep the momentum here. Yeah, but whatever the final score is, wherever the final outcome is, both of these teams have played wonderfully tonight. Yeah, it's been a great, it's been a fun matchup, Kale. A lot of great volleyball. Good com competition. A fun rivalry. That ball's hit out of bounds, 21-22. Lady Redskins. They're, they're trying to do all that they can to bring it back. The home crowd's getting into it a little bit more. Baca with the serve to Merrill. A little bit too far to Patterson. Patterson tips it over. And that's a tie game. Now we're back, 22-22. Coach for round ball. takes the timeout. She doesn't want the Redskins to get any more momentum. And now um, us at football would call what the Redskins are doing the two-minute drill. They're trying to get back in the game, and they have done that without flaw. They've done a great job getting back in the game, working together as a team. Now the nice thing about volleyball is there's no clock. Just on the timeouts, apparently. But well, you're right, mm -hmm. there's no clock. But, Kel, okay, what a fun game. Great sportsmanship by both teams. 30-minute drive into both towns. Great rivalry. We just opened the Lodge Legacy Teen Center in Round Valley. If you haven't seen it, it's a beautiful building right there off of Butler, just south of the high school. We're open there because it's so close to the high school. We're open there at lunchtime and then after school. And then we have parties at both places after home football games. We're both places we want to make it a big part of the high school community. Baca back to serve. She's brought him back to Merrill. Hunt tips it off of Richardson. Dive by Baca. Just misses it. 23-22. Round Valley Elks. McCall back in for the Elks. Back to serve. With her big jump serve. Right to Farmer. Farmer tips to, to Baca. Sets it behind her to Wingert. Wingert to Merrill. Great hustle by both teams at this point. Wanger with the tip. 
Ties it up, 23-23. Hill, we're back at it again, 23-23. Yep. First team who can put two points on the roll up, gonna win this. Great job by Lady Redskins trying to get back in this, tying it up, pushing it. Wenger with a jump serve. Merrill kicks it. Oh, great shot by Merrill. Gets it just over Lizzie Farmer's head, just in bounds. Great little bump by, by Merrill. Well, as you were saying earlier, um, in the first game, you kept on saying match point. Well, right here is both the, well, game points, but really it's been the match game. You're right, this is it. This is for all the marbles for tonight. Substitution coming in. Number three. For the Elks. Right now, if you're either team, you just got to be crossing your Gets fingers. Gets it to Farmer. Will Bank tips it. Set up for Merrill. Merrill with the hit off the block to Wenger. Wenger hits it up. And oh. the Lady Elks get the point. Game, set, match to the Lady Elks. 25 to 23. Kale, the Lady Elks came in here. They won all three games. But they were all competitive games. So if you're a Redskin fan, you're excited about that. If you're an Elk fan, you're very excited that they came out here with a win. They're still number one in their region and uh, highly ranked in the state. Two really good volleyball teams. So as we finish this broadcast up, again, thank you to Victor Chavez. Thank you to our main man, Caden Castleberry. Thank you to our eighth grade extraordinaire executive director, producer, Cale Hancock. Paul Hancock, wish you guys a great night. Those of you who are traveling to Brown Valley, safe travels. And hopefully we'll be able to see you all again next time. But thank you.